Hi guys, in this video we're going to introduce exponents. And so I am going to start in my typical way with an example. Example 1. Sorry, I meant to write that in black. Example 1. 2 squared. That's how you read that. Or 2 raised to the 2. Okay? You can rewrite this as 2 times 2. And what you should notice is that I'm writing 2 the number of times um, that's in the exponent okay and we know that 2 times 2 is 4 from here it's easy let me show you immediately 2 to the third power so that you see this pattern there's three twos here 2 times 2 times 2 and you see that I rewrote 2 which is the base here this many times okay so let's move on to other numbers okay how about 3 squared well that's just 3 times 3 and that's 9 2 times 2 times 2 incidentally we forgot to finish that one is 8 let's do another example how about 9 squared well that's just 9 times 9 and that's 81 well, how about 3 to the first power? Well, 3 to the first power is just 3 times itself, which is just, I mean, just 3. So it's just 3. 3 times nothing. Okay. <clears throat> Some other examples could be a fraction raised to a power. What you do here is you bring that exponent into the fraction in both the numerator and the denominator separately and then you treat each separately 1 squared is 1 times 1 2 squared is 2 times 2 and 1 times 1 is 1 2 times 2 is 4 and that's our answer there how about 2 thirds to the third power well that's 2 cubed uh, anything to the third power is also red cubed but 2 to the third power and 3 to the third power you bring that exponent in okay maybe I should draw you bring this exponent in and as you see we brought it in that's what I mean by bringing it in and then you treat them independently you do 2 times 2 times 2 which is 2 to the third power and then 3 to the third power is 3 3 times and then you just do 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 and 3 times 2 times 3 is 27 and that's that now I'm gonna tell you a couple rules that you need to know anything let's use this as an example any number let's use a to represent any number raised to the 0 power is equal to 1 okay except 0 to the 0 okay but we're not gonna worry about that that's calculus okay so let's do an example with that how about we get rid of this and we do an example uh, a few of them so you see 2 to the 0 power is 1 negative 3 to the 0 power is 1 1 million to the 0 power is 1. The point is everything to the 0 power is 1. Anything to the first power is itself. So 2 to the first power is 2. Negative 3 to the first power is negative 3. And 1 million see if we can fit this in to the first power is you guessed it one million okay so this was the first video on working with exponents I'm going to make another video showing you how to use exponents when you have negative signs and also when you have negative exponents 
So there's still some stuff to be learned about exponents. And also, there are cases where you'll have something like 27xy cubed, all this squared. Okay, this is more algebra. So if this is something that you're seeing and that you're interested in, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel and, and catch up on the videos in algebra and working with exponents. I'm going to make a video that also shows you how to deal with situations like 9x squared y cubed, which is so far similar to this problem, except to the negative 2 power. Okay? We're going to learn how to deal with these problems in subsequent videos. So make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the top left of this video. And this way you'll get all the newly released videos as soon as they're released without having to search for them. And comment, let me know what you think. Until next time, practice, practice, practice.